Yesterday I uploaded a video to the channel that showed you all how to patch the Relay for Reddit application so that it will continue to work even after the new API changes went into effect on July 1st. Today I want to continue with this series and show you how to fix the Boost for Reddit application on Android so that will continue to work as well. The process is mostly the same, but since there are some differences depending on which app you choose to use, I feel it is best to dedicate a video to each of the popular Reddit applications. To begin, we need to visit the Reddit apps page at reddit.com slash prefs slash apps and I'll be sure to include the link to this page down in the video description below. Once we get to this page, we're going to tap on the create app or create another app button. And then we're going to fill out a couple of these fields. Specifically, we're going to add a name to our newly created app. And I'll be naming this app Boost since we're going to be patching the boost for Reddit application. And then we need to fill out the redirect URI. And this field is going to be different depending on which third party Reddit app you want to use. For the boost for Reddit app, the redirect URI should be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash r u b e n m a y a y o dot com so that's r u b e n m a y a y o dot com and I'll be including this detail down in the video description as well. The other fields like the description and the about URI can be left blank. With that information set up, we're going to tell Reddit that we are not a robot and then tap on the create app button. You should see a newly created app here and it's, and it's going, going to, to include a string of 22 letters, numbers, and characters. We need to copy this as that is our client ID. And we're going to paste that in a newly created TXT file. Now, it doesn't matter if this text file is created on your device or on your PC. It just needs to contain that 22 character string that we just created from the Reddit apps page. And it needs to be named Reddit underscore client underscore ID underscore revanced dot TXT. And this file needs to be stored in the root directory of your device. So either create this TXT file in the root directory or create it on your desktop first and then transfer it over to the internal storage of your smartphone or tablet. You can see our location here designated as internal memory or internal storage with all of our folders like DCIM, downloads, movies, pictures, etc the reddit underscore client underscore id underscore revanced text file needs to be saved right there. Now we need to download the APK file for the boost for reddit application. I usually go to a website called APK mirror to download these unaltered APK files as it is a source that I personally trust. But if you have another website or app repository that you trust, then you'll want to use that to download that file. 
So we need to download the APK file for this application, but make sure that it is not installed right now. If you already have the Boost for Reddit app installed on your device, then it will need to be uninstalled before you can install the patched one that we're going to create. The next thing we need to do is download the Revanced Manager application from its official GitHub page. As of right now, this is the latest version that is available, but if there is a newer one, then you'll want to download that instead. And I'll be linking to both this GitHub page as well as the APK Mirror page that I just showed you down in the video description below. After the revanced manager app has been installed, let's go ahead and open it up. If this is your first time using the app, then you'll see a prompt asking you to grant the app permission to access your files, and another prompt asking you to grant permission for this app to install APK files. You'll need to grant that access to both of these prompts. And then you will also see another prompt that suggests you allow the app to ignore Android's battery optimization feature. This last one can be ignored since we don't need it running in the background, but you can allow it if you'd like. Once this has been set up properly with the required permissions, let's tap on the Patcher tab down here at the bottom, and then let's select an application. Now we're going to be tapping this storage button down at the corner, and then we're going to find the APK file for the Boost for Reddit application that we just downloaded. Now we're going to tap on the Selected Patches option and just make sure that the only patch we have selected here is the Change OAuth Client ID. Once this patch is highlighted, we're going to tap on Done. Now as long as that TXT file that we created earlier is named properly, and it's saved in the root directory, then everything should go smoothly when we tap on the patch button right here. It will take some time for Revanced Manager to patch that APK file. And as long as you didn't get any errors here, then it should have been patched properly. With this done, we can tap on the blue install button to have Revanced Manager install the patched APK file for us. Or we could tap on the three dot menu up here at the top right and choose the export APK option. Exporting the patched version is a great idea if you want to install the patched version of the app on multiple devices. And that will be common with people who browse on Reddit with their smartphone as well as their tablet. Either way, after sideloading the APK file for the Boost for Reddit app, you will get a notice from Google Play Protect to let you know that this APK file has been modified. And since we just did the patching ourselves, we already know what has been changed. So we're gonna tap on the Install Anyway option so that the installation can be completed. Now we can open up the app and it will work like normal. Now personally, 
I understand why Reddit began charging for access to its API, but it's clear that they are charging way too much in an attempt to kill off these third-party apps. Thankfully, we can use this process to patch our favorite Reddit application with a client ID that is tied to our own account. This is free at the time of recording this video since Reddit does not charge people for personal access to this API. This could change in the future if the company feels like it is being abused, but this is what the client ID for personal accounts are for, so I don't think anything will change with this. Now let me know if you had any trouble with this tutorial down in the comments section below. I can't guarantee that I'll be able to answer all of the questions, but I will do my best to help out when I can.